Hey guys, Adam from Quipton Door. Well, today I'm going to do the review on my Wetterlings Wildlife Axe. You guys got to see me uh, use this thing in action. And, you know, I didn't say before that, uh, you know, I used to be a small hand axe, hatchet kind of guy, got into the bigger knives and kind of gravitating back towards us now. And, you know, this is an awesome item. Now, let's just give you guys the uh, quick run through again. We got our nice little leather sheath. Uh, now, this is a, like I said before, a wildlife axe, about 12 and a half inch length. The axe head itself is about a five and a quarter with a cutting surface of two, two and three quarters, I think. Um, so great axe. This is Swedish steel, hand forged with a Rockwell hardness of about 57, 58. So good, good stuff. This, you know, weddings are known to keep their edges for a long, long time and be very excellent tools. Uh, the handle itself is made of a hickory. So great ergonomics on the handle, very comfortable, very warm feeling. This thing did, did awesome. Now, the weight of this is actually pretty comparable to almost like the BK2. I mean, this thing I think only weighs 1.2 pounds. So it's it's gonna be pretty efficient for, for the weight of a chopper. I mean, if you guys are gonna carry a large hand axe out there, if you're bushcrafting or something like that, you know, you'll probably stick to something just like this. I mean, this is not gonna be for cutting down large trees, not to say that you can't you know chop down some pretty um, thick pieces of wood with this, but, you know, just for doing normal camp chores, and as I showed you before, even holding it here, the handle itself is pretty comfortable for even doing any any carving type tasks. Not to say that I would definitely go through and use that for that, but if this is the only thing that you had out there, you could do that. So this thing did excellent for the chopping, for the splitting. You know, it wasn't any issues. You guys saw how superior it was to the other items that I uh, reviewed to in reference to chopping. Uh, the cool story behind this, and uh, for those of you who can uh, who can give us any more info is that I believe this has been being made in Sweden since like 1880. Uh, it was two brothers and um, one of them had already started the axe company. The other one had actually went to America to uh, you know study how some of their forging techniques. Brought those techniques back to Sweden, mixed with some of the classic uh, Sweden for Swedish forging techniques and started making these axes. And they've been making them pretty much the same way for almost 130 years. So that's awesome. Now, from what I understand is recently, hey Ace, wanna come up and say hi to everybody? No, he doesn't want to come up and say hi to here. Oh, now he thinks I want to play with him. <laughs> um, recently, you want to see the axe, buddy? Here. Hop. I know. Say hi to everybody. Okay. Take it down. Get a little bit of an affection in the morning. Sorry about that, folks. Um, from what I understand, and, and, and you guys can maybe clear some of this up for me, is that another company actually bought them out because they were having some financial issues. Uh, but once they bought them out, and this is a Swedish competitor, uh, they told him just keep on doing the same thing that you're doing because of the heritage involved in the artistry of hand forging each one of these acts. I mean, this is individually, you know, somebody individually hammered this and just give you guys kind of a close up and see how it has that, that really rough, you know, rugged look. So it's, it's really uh, quite, a pe you know, quite a piece. Now, the one thing that I got to put out there, that this is not going to be a, you know, a tool that you're not going to have to maintain. You're going to have to oil the hickory handle. You're going to have to oil the axe head. You're probably going to have to treat the leather as well so it doesn't get all nasty on you, especially if you guys are out in the elements. And, um, you know, so you want to take care of this piece of equipment. It's not going to be something like my Carter scaled axe that I have in reference to the, the tops or, or some stainless steel with rubber grip Coleman. So, I mean, those things you can probably throw in the mud and come back years later and it'll be fine. This thing will not be. You need to take care of this piece of equipment. You know the quality and the craftsmanship, craftsmanship that goes behind this is you know something to be uh, something to be revered. So great tool. Now the one issue with with this is the price. Uh, I've seen these go from anywhere from 60 bucks to almost 90 bucks. So that's going to be a, a you know pretty big difference. These are you know of course imported from Sweden, so they're going to vary. And you know somebody spending 60 or 60 to 90 bucks on a small hand axe like this might question that. But I mean the quality is there. I want to say I got this for 45, uh, and I and I think that's totally worth it. I know you guys might want to you know search around the internet and see those different buys that you can get. Um, but this is you know awesome item. So definitely gonna give this a uh, you know thumbs up type review. And, um, you know, no real issues. And everybody who sees it's kind of, you know, and when they come over to play with some of my toys, they're always like, ooh, that's nice. So great item, uh, Wetterling's Wildlife Hand Axe. So if you guys want to get a chance to check that out, if you are, you know, an axe person or if you're thinking about getting into an axe for your, uh, for your kid. So, hey, guys, this is Adam from Equip to Endure. Uh, make sure you guys check out the website at www.equiptoendure.com. 
Uh, you know, we also have the members area going on right now for uh, some added online content. Make sure to check out our YouTube and Twitter pages for updates on information. And also, you know, we have our, our uh, bi-weekly blog TV show and our bi-weekly outdoors on tame show. So plenty of great information out there if you guys are interested. So if you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedandor.com. You guys take care, be safe out there, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.